there's another dialogue that you can use where you can message a friend instead of posting something to their timeline. And I wanted to show it to you because it's a little bit tough to get to, and it kind of illustrates some of the issues with the JavaScript SDK website. So from here, I'm going to go to FBUI because that is the method we're using. And if you notice, there's nothing that says send a message to a friend. There's nothing even down here on the left-hand side navigation. But if we click on prompting the user to share a link, you'll see that on the left-hand side, there's a bunch of dialogues that you can set. So these are sample pages for coding these different dialogues. There it is at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to click on that, and here's the example for that one. It's pretty much the same thing as what we did before. It's just sort of in a weird place, and sometimes these things, for whatever reason, aren't exactly where they should be. So I already have this set up, and it's very similar to posting to a timeline. So I'm going to switch over to BB Edit and also open up Transmit. And I should have the Facebook folder open. And I need to open, of course, the JavaScript file because it's what I'll be working with. So I'll open that up. And the code snippets are going to be super similar. We're just going to add a link to message to a friend, which is going to be a function we are going to define in a minute. So I'll grab it. It sends pretty much the same info as the posting to a timeline. Let's go into our JavaScript function and locate the populate stories section where we put all the stories. Here's where we add the post to feed link. And right underneath that, I'll add the message to a friend. Save that. And I'm going to go over to my code snippets now and get the second part, which is this function for messaging to a friend. This is exactly the same as the other function, but obviously I modified things like the message instead of the post. Everything else is pretty much the same. Obviously the method is different. And that's how it works with most of those dialog boxes. You're just going to be changing the method and everything else is going to be the same. So here's post to feed. It really doesn't matter where I put it. So I'll put it down here. I'll save this and switch over to Safari. Refresh my page. And I'll scroll down here and there is the message of friends. So I want to click on this to send a message to a friend. I'm going to send it to Darren. There's Darren. And so with this particular type of dialog box, I can choose the friends that I send this to. You can also pre-populate this if you want to with a specific user. So I'll send Darren a message. And I'm going to hit the send button here. And you'll get a little message just like before. Notice that it actually created a chat with him with this automatically placed in there. And I'm going to switch to another browser, so Google Chrome, where I have Darren's account. And eventually we should see that message. Actually, that's probably what we were seeing before. So there is the message that we're getting. So there's a lot of different dialogues that you can use, but the code is almost identical. You're just changing the method. Still, these things are something you should take a look at because a lot of them can be useful ways of communicating with people through your app.